Hello, and welcome to Recess with Pumpkin Futs. I am your host, Miss Rebecca, and today we are joined by Erin Lee. Hi, Erin. Hello, how are you? I am good. I am good today. Um, so before we get started, we're going to thank all of the essential workers out there that are risking their lives, all the nurses and the doctors and the delivery people, the grocers, the parents, the OTs, the PTs, everyone out there that is making this world go round right now. We thank you so much. Um, right. Thank you. Um, and did you want to help me thank the parents, all the, all the grownups out there? Yes, so many grown-ups have made our world work for the last few months. So please, let's give them a great big thank you. We really have. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna look left. We're gonna look right. We're gonna look up. We're gonna look down. And on the count of three, <laughs> we're gonna say thank you, grown-ups. Are you ready? Yes. All right. One, two, three. Thank you, grown-ups. Wonderful job. All right. So my one, one last, very last thing is to please wear a mask. Um, you know, it's not that hard. It saves a life. It could, you know, it could save lives. So just, you know, put on your mask, social distance, you know, that's it. All right. So, so helpful. Yes. So, so helpful. That means so much to so many people. Yes. It's, it's so true. It's so true. So, so Erin Lee, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I make music for and with kids. I write music, I play music, I teach music, I perform music. And since March, I've been doing it all on Zoom. I've been teaching That's so cool. songwriting workshops, I've been performing on Zoom, and I've been having classes for children and their grown-ups to do together to keep them busy while we're all stuck indoors. That's amazing. Uh, can, can adults take your classes? Oh, please, of course. <laughs> I love to do something for kids and their grown-ups. That's what it's about. It's about making music together and telling stories together and having fun as a group. So that's what we're going to do a little bit of today. So I hope some grown-ups have tuned in. I'm sure some grown-ups have tuned in. And today, if you'll notice, we're both wearing some of our, our fall gear. We're, we're getting ready to tumble into autumn today. I'm so, so excited. Um, I went outside for lunch. It was 57 degrees and the leaves were coming down. They're turning. They are turning. Absolutely gorgeous autumn day. So I'm excited. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a beautiful day out today. Um, so we have some people over here that have already joined us. Um, Miss Nina is here. Hi, Miss Nina. How are you doing? Um, we had Miss Nina on, who is your friend, I believe, right? That's how we got you. I mean, I knew about your company beforehand because I teach kids. Uh -huh. So I've had children come to some of my classes in the cute little vests with the little piping and with the little scratchy squares. So she actually made the introduction. So it's exciting that she's here today. Nina, put your I'm going to ask you for some help later. That'll be perfect. Um, and we have Miss Robin Waxenberg. She is here also. Um, oh, it looks like Piper is watching. Hi, Piper. You remember me? <laughs> Piper came to sing with Miss Nina. It was fantastic. Okay, enough of my babbling. Um, so if you, <laughs> if you would like to, um, to talk to Miss Nina, she'll be here. Um, there is a 20 second delay, just so you know, but, um, but yeah, she'll answer your questions. I think there's gonna be some interaction, so stay tuned for that. I am going to be asking for some questions and some help later on. We're gonna do some singing, we're gonna do a folk tale, and we're gonna do an arts and crafts project. So listen up, because I'm gonna ask for your help and I'm gonna ask you to write in and let me know what you should be singing or talking or telling a story about. Sounds fantastic. All right, I will get out of your hair and <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. Though, please you're gonna come back later right we'll come back later <laughs> yes all right thank you Erin Lee we'll see you soon all right are you guys ready for some fun I hope so what about your grown-ups are you guys ready for some fun then everybody here say hey say hey everybody say hey Say hey, hey there, there must be someone just like me, looking for someone to play with, could it be you? Hey there, there must be someone just like me, looking for someone to sing with, could it be you? It's gotta be someone out there looking for some fun, gotta be someone out there looking for a friend. 
Gotta be someone out there singing their own song, waiting for someone like me to sing along. We sing, na 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 na. Can you do it? That's your turn. Ba da ba da 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 da. Be my echo. You got it. Do 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 do. Can you make the noise? Ba da ba da 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 da. Hey out there, there must be someone just like me Looking for someone to tell stories with Could it be you? Hey out there, there must be someone just like me Looking for someone to dance with Could it be you? There's gotta be someone out there searching for some sun Gotta be someone out there just beyond the bridge Gotta be someone out there dancing their own dance, waiting for someone like me to dance along and we we'll clap, clap, clap our hands. Can you do it? Let me see ya. Stop, stop, stop your feet really, really loud. That's right. Bounce, bounce up and down. Bounce high and reach your ceiling. Shake your booty to the crazy beat, yeah. Do it all at once, extreme. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Stop, stop, stop your feet. Bounce, bounce. She could put in the crazy beat, yeah. There's gotta be someone out there. There's got to be someone out there to play, to play along. Yeah. Well, I need you to play along with me, and I need you to start by getting your hands out. And we are going to turn them into leaves. And we are going to keep the beat. I'm going to keep it on my knee. And you can keep it wherever you like. You can keep it on your shoulders, on your belly, on your head. Or keep it with your feet. And I want you to imagine that the leaves are tumbling down around you. I can hear the leaves tumbling, tumbling. I can hear the leaves tumbling down. I can hear the leaves tumbling, tumbling. Underneath my feet, they're tumbling all around. I can hear the leaves crumbling, crumbling. I can hear the leaves crumbling all around. I can hear the leaves crumbling, crumbling. Underneath my feet, they're crumbling all around. I can hear the wind blowing, blowing. I can hear the wind blowing through the trees. I can hear the wind, summer is going. Fall is creeping in on the autumn breeze. Be the leaves. I can hear the leaves tumbling, tumbling. I can hear the leaves tumbling down. I can hear the leaves crumbling, crumbling. Underneath my feet, they're crumbling all around. I can hear the wind blowing, blowing. I can hear the wind blowing through the trees. Now you can be the wind, or you can be the tree. Can you be the tree? I can hear the wind, summer is going. Fall is creeping in on the autumn breeze. Yeah. All right, friends. I am going to need your help. I need you to get on the chat and make a comment and let me know what animals we should put in this story. I need three animals. I need three animals that would be very, very loud and very, very big and very, very inconvenient to have in your kitchen. For example, the other week I went to a museum and I saw some gorgeous Sardinian donkeys who were absolutely adorable. And you know what? I would not like to have them in my kitchen. So that would be one of the animals that I would not like to have. But let's see. Who has an idea for an animal that we could put in a story? I'm going to wait for a minute because I heard there's a 20 second delay. But if you don't come up with one, I'm going to come up with a Sardinian donkey because it would be very inconvenient in my very, very small Hell's Kitchen, New York City apartment. Any ideas? Let's see. Aside from our animal noises, which are going to be very, very loud, there's going to be very quiet, quiet noises as well. The sound of leaves falling on the roof, just like this. Shh.
right? So that's sound number one. That pumpkin fat says, how about a tiger? So I'm going to need you to make a tiger sound. And if you think you can make tiger claws, make those tiger claws too. I'm going to also say donkey because I'm a big fan of the donkey. So everybody make a donkey noise at home right now. Hee-haw. And I'm going to wait a few more seconds just to see if anybody else comes in because I know there is a delay. And if not, I'm actually going to put my neighbor's dog in it. My neighbor has a dog who's absolutely adorable. Very, very sweet. Ooh, a fox. Yip, 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 yip. Let's do a fox. Sound like a plan? Good. Because that way if my neighbor watches, he won't be offended if he sees his dog show up in a story. All right. So now that we have a donkey, a fox a tiger and leaves on the roof, we will start our folk tale. Are you ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was an old man who lived in a cabin in the woods. And every day, the leaves on the roof would go ch, ch, would say, my house is too noisy. So he went to the wise woman who lived next door and he said, my house is too noisy. What can I do? And the wise woman said, hmm, I, I know what to do. Get yourself, hang on, things are popping into the chat. So I'm going to switch over here and say, goat. A goat, a goat. So the old man went, got a goat, brought it home. And now every day, the leaves on the roof would go, ch, 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 ch. And the goat would go, meh. And the old man would say, my house is too noisy. So he went back to the wise woman and said, my house is too noisy. What can I do? And the wise woman said, I know what to do. Get yourself a tiger. A tiger? A tiger. So the old man went, got a tiger, brought it home. And now every day, the leaves on the roof would go ch, 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 ch. And the goat would go meh. And the tiger would go rawr. And the old man would go, my house is too noisy. So we went back to the wise woman and said, my house is too noisy. Every day the leaves on the roof go ch, 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 ch. And the goat goes meh. And the tiger goes roar. What can I do? And the wise woman said, I know what to do. Get yourself. A dragon, a dragon, a dragon. So the old man went, got a dragon, brought it home. And now every day, the leaves on the roof would go ch, 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 ch. And the goat would go meh. And the tiger would go roar. And the dragon would go, and the old man would go, my house is too noisy. So we went back to the wise woman and said, my house is too noisy. What can I do? And the wise woman said, I know what to do. Get rid of the goat. Get rid of the tiger. Get rid of the dragon. Wait, what? Get rid of the goat. Get rid of the tiger. Get rid of the dragon. Get rid of the goat. Get rid of the tiger. Get rid of the dragon. 
So the old man went, he got rid of the goat, he got rid of the tiger, he got rid of the dragon, and now every day the leaves on the roof would go, shh, 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 shh. And the old man would say, my house is so quiet. <laughs> that is such an old story and I love it because it never gets old. It's all about perspective. I love that neighbor. What a great neighbor. All right, we are talking about leaves today. We're talking about leaves falling. We're singing about the leaves. And you know what I like to do whenever I do a show or a class on Zoom? I like to do an art project about whatever it is that we're singing about or talking about or telling a story about. And today we are talking about leaves. So I am going to make an art project that, guess what, is also something you can eat. So hang on a minute. You're going to laugh because I'm going to bring my toaster into the shot. This has been a very odd time since we have been virtual. I have been singing and telling stories from my kitchen, but today I brought my kitchen into the living room. My husband woke up this morning and was like, where is the toaster? And I'm like, it's between the bass and the drum. It's in the living room. I'm so very sorry. But that's what we're doing. We're going to make something that we can actually eat. And guess what? All your art supplies can be found in your kitchen. And I am going to bet that you have most of them right there. I'm going to bet that all of you have bread. Do you have bread? I bet you do. Get some bread. I'm going to guess that most of you have milk. Actually, today I'm using silk. I'm going non-dairy. I'm being very fancy. So silk or milk, I bet you've got some right there in your refrigerator and you don't have to look very hard. This one might be a little bit trickier. Food coloring. You might have it. I always have some on hand because you never know where a dragon is going to pop up. It could pop up in your story. It could pop up in your kitchen and you need to make dragon eggs. And food coloring is a great way to make dragon eggs. But we're all going to use them today because we're going to be making painted rainbow toast. And we're going to make them in the shape of leaves. So the other things you need you might not have these. You might not have leaf shaped cookie cutters, but guess what? They're very fun and easy to use. You can use them on cheese, you can use them on cookies, you can use them on Play Doh. Today I'm using them on bread. And the last thing, a toaster. Hang on, I'm going to slide my toaster into the shot. There is my toaster that confused my husband today when he woke up and it wasn't here. There it is. And we are going to make some toast today. So, guess what? You don't know this, but there is a lovely lady named Lisa who is online right now and who is running this show. She's popping up all our pictures and all of our graphics and making sure that everything sounds great. So say hi to Lisa, everybody. Hi, Lisa. And Lisa's got some pictures of the toast that I made earlier. The first picture that I have is of my milk. That's my milk with the food coloring in it. So guess what? You take five or six drops of food coloring, add it to your milk, and then stir it up. That's our second picture. Lisa will see it right there. She's going to pop it on the screen. You give it a stir. Stir it up. So easy. This is what mine looked like. Here's my lovely, lovely orange. Paintbrush, five or six drops of food coloring, and some milk. And then you paint. You can paint anything you want. You can paint a Picasso. You can paint a Van Gogh or like me, you can make polka dots. I love polka dots. I'm going to tell you why. What's great about my polka dots? You don't have to have a very fancy brush stroke to do polka dots. You can just dab or daub or use your whole arm. So polka dots always turn out and they're a wonderful way to decorate your toast. And then this is the tricky part. This is the part that's actually complicated. You have to wait. You gotta wait. So you know what I do? I sing a waiting song. I have a little song about waiting. And it goes like this. I sing while I'm toasting. Can you keep the rhythm? 
What's that rumbling? Like a train on the track. It's my tummy. It's a snap attack. Heading for the kitchen. Don't look back. It's coming for me. It's a snack attack. Now, guess what? We got to wash our hands. So get your hands out and give them a little scrub. Wash my hands front and back. Now I'm ready. It's a snack attack. What's that rumbling? Like a train on a track. It's my tummy, it's a snack attack. It's a snack attack. It's a snack attack. It's a snack attack. Yeah. So by then, you hope that your toast is ready. Now here's the deal with the toast. You can either toast it without using the cookie cutter or you can cookie cutter it first. I'm doing one of each. I've got toast in its regular square toasty shape. And I've also done one where I cut it out with my cookie cutter first. Either one is fine. Then get yourself a cookie cutter. I got mine on Amazon. It came the very next day. I was very excited that I'm using it for everything, including, oh my gosh. Jeez. And once you've got your cookie cutter, you've got your toast, out it pops. Put a little bit of butter on it. And you have got yourself some gorgeous, toasty, colorful, rainbow leaves. I was a kid that never ate anything. So the fact, actually, I'm going to have some. This is going to totally mess up my next song, but I don't care. I love toast, and the minute I smell it, I have to eat it. But I was a kid that never ate anything. I was a very, very fussy, picky eater. So anytime that I could make my food pretty or fancy or have fun with it, it changed my whole world. And still to this day, I like food that's fancy. All right. I want to do one more song. I'm going to have to finish the toast first. So you're going to have to hang on and just give me a minute. Sorry about that. But I can't smell toast and not eat some. I'm sure you're the same way. Give me a second. And I want to write a song. I want to sing a song that I actually wrote for Pumpkin Fuzz. I wrote this this fall, early one morning when I woke up and saw that the leaves were starting to turn and they were getting ready to fall. And I was so excited and I thought, this is a beautiful, beautiful fall. We've been through a lot. We went through a lot this year. And we stayed indoors for a lot of spring and a lot of the summer. But now every day I put my mask on, I go outside, I take a walk, and I appreciate the fact that we have so many beautiful things to see and to do outside. And I'm really, really grateful for it. And I wrote this song, and this is, guess what, the first time that anybody's hearing it. So I want you guys to sing along. And the song will be out this upcoming week. It will be a brand new video on my YouTube channel, Erin Lee and Friends. And it will be a brand new release from my band, Erin Lee and the Up Past Bedtime Band. So look for it this week. And in the meantime, get your hands out to pretend they're leaves. Or get your whole body out and pretend that you're a leaf blown in the wind. I'm watching the leaves fall from branches up above, tossing and tumbling over the city that I love, whirling and swirling under my feet. Make it sweet music when I walk down the street. Together we crunch, 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 shh. Crunch, 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 shh. There's red and there's yellow. There's gold and pretty brown. Swirling and whirling all over my town. Crinkling and crunk. Under each turn, making sweet music wherever I go. And we crunch, 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 shh. Crunch, 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 shh. Some people like winter are covered in snow. Some people like springtime, watching flowers grow. Some people like summer, with trips to the shore. 
Check out my YouTube channel this week to see the video and check out Erin Lee and the Outcast Bedtime Band to hear the brand new song one more time. Sing it with me. Hi, Rebecca. Erin oh, Lee, that was fantastic. I loved it. I was, I was singing along with you by the end because it was really cute. And, and you know what I did? I made, I didn't have any toast, <laughs> but I drew a piece of toast. But <laughs> I'm a model. You have something to aspire to now. Exactly. So I think that I'm going to make this as a piece of toast when I go back downstairs, but I made it a voting toast. I made a piece of voting toast oh, to remind all the kiddos to make sure their grownups go and vote. Okay. Kiddos make a voting toast and make sure your, your grownups go and vote. So, uh, <laughs> so that was you can die, you can eat it, you can vote with it. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It really, really is. So that was that was fantastic. So if people want to to take their classes, how do they how do they find out? You can register at my website, erinleymusic.com. If you go to the show page, there's no show pages right there, right now. I'm not doing any shows except here on Zoom and on Facebook. But you can find out for an online class. We start on Tuesday. I have two classes that are being offered. One is a song and story time, just like what we did today. We do a song, we do a story, we do an arts and crafts project, and we do a fun, silly, easy to make snack. And that's for you and your grownups to do together. And we also have an acting class for kids as an introduction to storytelling, where they can use their voices, their bodies, their imaginations to help bring stories like the one we told today to life. And for $75, you get a six pack of classes and you can participate, you can invite your friends and we can all make a beautiful creative connection from our living rooms or from your apartment or from grandma's. <laughs> and that's what we keep us all connected together while we're going through this. We go through this together and that makes it fun. That sounds fantastic. And so also you were mentioning YouTube before I before I interrupted you about my voting toast that I was. Oh, no, 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 no. I love the vote. No, the voting was important. That's very yeah. important. So please, anytime you need to interrupt with voting, I'm all about that. Okay. Yes, I have a YouTube channel called Erin Lee and Friends. You can hear the story that we told today, too noisy. You can hear that on my YouTube channel and you can hear more songs about fall and about autumn and about Halloween right there on that channel, Erin Lee and Friends. And if you tune in later, the brand new song will be up. That's, that sounds really fun. Oh. And I would also like to tell all the kiddos out, all the kiddos out there that Erin Lee is coming back mm -hmm. in, for Halloween, for the Halloween episode. I'm so excited. I'll be here with my friends Roxy and Ivy, and we are going to write a song especially for Pumpkin Putts, it's so especially cool. for Halloween, it's so cool. and we're going to need your help doing it, so please. It's so cool. I'm, ex I'm so excited for that one. That'll be a really a really fun treat for us and for all, all the kiddos out there. I'm coming costume. Dress up. Miss Rebecca, will you dress up? I'm going to dress 100 up. 100% dress up. Yes. Please. Obviously. Yes, let's dress up. It'll be awesome. Yeah, I, I'm a dress up queen. I love dressing up. <laughs> I knew that about you. I knew that. <laughs> um, okay, so um, so also, um, Miss Erin Lee, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a lot of fun, um, and I hope that all the kiddos out there did too um, have a lot of fun. Um, so tune in next week. Um, we have Mrs. Ashley is coming back. I oh, love her. She's the storyteller. She has such great detective books. I love her. Yes. Yeah. We love Mrs. Ashley. And she is coming back next week. So please stay tuned for that. Ooh, it looks like 
it looks like people can't wait for your Halloween episode. Honestly, I can't either. I think it'll be so much fun. We're going to make this a wonderful Halloween. It's going to be the most unusual Halloween we've ever had, but it's also going to be the best. It's going to be truly special. I believe that. I really do. I believe that too. I believe that too. And I think that you're going to, you're going to make it extra special for our kiddos. That's what I believe. Okay. Well, I can't wait to be back. This was great fun. What a wonderful way to start the weekend. What a wonderful way to start fall. It is. It's a wonderful way to start fall. So thank you for, for starting fall with us and um, all of the, all of our leaves that we have to now go rake and shovel and put in bags. Yeah, and go for a walk. Go have fun. Oh, you know what? Collect them. Collect them. Put them in wax paper, iron them out, and make beautiful. Yeah. Do there our projects with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Erin Lee. We oh, really appreciated you. having you, and we'll see you on Halloween. Excellent. See you in a few weeks. Bye, everybody. Thanks.